In this code.org lesson, we're going to use conditionals to harvest or to farm, which begs the question, if I farm it, can't I eat it? Eh? Ish? Conditional statements? If so. Anyways, let's get started. The harvester. Continue. Alright, help the harvester check her row of corn to see if anything is ready to pick. Use conditionals when you see this word. Don't let it scare you. They mean if. Use conditionals to look for each row. Every stock will have either zero or one piece of corn to harvest. Got it. We're row ahead of us, and we're not sure how much is there, right? If I hit run, it's one. Oh, no, we are sure. One. One block down here. I can use up to five. I'm going to start, like I almost always do, just putting code down. What would I do here? Well, I think I'll move forward, and I'll pick corn. Then I just need forward. No corn here, but the next one. And let me test. Oh, and you see how it's randomized. So this is going to throw her off, because there's no corn right there. All right, and this is where we're conditional, which is an if. We're asking the computer if something is there. Any code inside of this if, I'll get rid of all that, will only happen if this happens to be true. So now let's try this. I'll demo it. So I should step move forward. Now I'm going to ask the computer question. Hey, is there corn here? And if there is, I'll pick it. So if there's corn, step asking the computer, the computer can only respond true or false. One for true, zero for false, but true or false. Right now the computer says would say true, there is corn. So you'll notice it runs corn and I grab it. Now I'm going to take another step, because we were done with our if, we drop below, and I'll move forward. Now I'll ask the computer again, hey, is there any corn here? There's no corn, so it would be done, right? Because it's not going to run this line of code. When there's not corn, that doesn't highlight up. Now we're already over on blocks, but wait, if I'm doing something over and over again, do I need to keep repeating myself? No, we've already learned I can use a repeat loop, and now I can keep checking automatically. Quapow, onward. All right. This garden's all mixed up. Both corn and lettuce help the harvester pick the items. There's a row ahead of me, so I'm just going to start by throwing stuff down. Now, this one has both corn or lettuce. Well, I just did the if here, so if lettuce, I'll pick lettuce, right? So, or corn, like we were doing last time, for example. So, let me give that a shot, what we were just doing. All right, if there's corn, I'll pick corn. And let's see what happens here. And keep in mind, let me hit step. I'll step forward. I move, and now I'm about to ask the computer a question. Hey, is there any corn here? Yep, there is. This is true. What will happen? I'll pick it. There goes the corn. I'm going to step forward. I'll ask if there's any corn there. What happens? This is false, so I don't pick the corn. What if I were to keep doing this? Well, I'm trying to repeat myself right now, so there's no need. We can use a repeat block. It looks like five steps. Let's give this a try. And what happens now? All the code inside this pink mouth thing in five times. So move forward one. Now what? I ask the computer, hey, is there corn here? The computer says false, so you'll notice pick corn doesn't highlight. I hit the bottom and I go back to the top. However, I just left lettuce, but let's keep going. I move forward. Is there corn? Nope, there's no corn, so the pick corn won't highlight, and I'll keep walking. And we can do this a bunch. When there is corn, I will pick it, but I'm leaving behind lettuce. So now what could I do? Well, wait a minute. If there is corn, I could pick the corn. If... There is lettuce, right? I can use two ifs. First, I'll check for corn. If there's corn, awesome. I could also use an else, because else runs when there is not corn. So in this way, this line of code, this do, will only ever run if there's corn. Else will always run. So I can't put pick lettuce here, because I can't automatically always pick lettuce. So is there corn? This is false, and I'll pick lettuce. That will work this time. Repeat to the top, I move forward, now I'm going to ask the computer, is there corn? This is false, and it's going to try to pick lettuce, but it can't. There's nothing there, so I get this error. So now, instead of just else, well, how about else if there's lettuce? So else if there's lettuce, pick the lettuce. And each time I'll ask if there's corn, if there is corn, I automatically pick it. Otherwise, otherwise, I'll pick if there's lettuce, and if there's lettuce, I pick that. So only this runs do or this part, one or the other. They both can't always run. And this else pick lettuce only happens if there's actually lettuce. Let's see. And I didn't go far enough. Awesome. Onward. All right. Corn, lettuce, each plant will have either one or corn, lettuce, or pumpkin. So one. When run, I'll start like I almost always do. I'm gonna just throw down some code here and say, uh, if there's a pumpkin, sure, let's pick a pumpkin. And I'll keep going. Let's see what happens when I run. Uh-oh, lettuce, corn, I'm leaving all of that. Well, that's a problem. Oh, and pumpkins. Okay, so now what should I be doing? Hmm. Well, what if I do this? What if I do nesting of my conditional? So, 
First of all, I know I don't need to repeat all these blocks. I'm doing the same thing each time. I'm going to take a step forward. How many steps? Looks like seven, maybe. So I'll put a seven here. Now what? Well, each time I'm going to want to move forward, and then I'm going to need to check. It can be a pumpkin or corn or lettuce. So this defaulted to pumpkin for me. But let's grab this, right? If there is corn, what do I want to do? Just like we have been doing, I'd want to pick the corn. Else, else happens at all other points. So else, I'm going to have pick lettuce here. This is going to break, right? Because it's going to say, is there corn? This is false. There's no corn. So since there's not corn, what it tries to force me to do is pick lettuce. And it says there's no lettuce. So that's an error. So if there is corn, do pick corn. Else, we don't want to automatically pick lettuce. We want to only pick lettuce if it is there. So else, if there's lettuce, do that. However, we also need pumpkins. Oh my goodness, this thing's getting huge. So else, if there is lettuce, pick lettuce. And what if not? So now let's say if this is false and this is false, what do we want to do? Well, I'd want to pick a pumpkin, but this is going to air out, and I'll show you why. I'm going to go forward, look if there's corn, no corn, so that's false. Is there lettuce? No lettuce, so that's false. And I'm about to try to pick a pumpkin, because since there's no corn, that's false. It has to check here. There's no lettuce. This is false. Since this is false, it now has to do this else, and I automatically pick a pumpkin. And there's no pumpkin there. So what I need to do is check first. Now, I check if there's corn. If there is, I pick it. Otherwise, I pick lettuce. Otherwise, I pick pumpkins. Only one of these three things could ever happen. If there's lettuce, it's done. It doesn't even check this. If there's corn, it's done. It doesn't check these other two. Tricky. Onward. All right. Harvester wants to pick everything in her garden. Okay. Same thing as we have been doing. So I'm going to just throw down. Let's see. I'll do a move forward. And then let me see what type of stuff. Oh, there's only lettuce. Oh, but it looks like a random amount. Okay. Well, I know I'm going to use a repeat. And I could do while there's path ahead, I guess. Because once I hit here, I'm done. So I'll do that. I'll move forward as long as there's path ahead, so everything in here will just loop. Now, each time, I'm going to want to peck, check if there's lettuce. However, doing that just once, that will only get me one piece of lettuce. Or I guess one head of lettuce, right? And we don't want just once. And this is where the while loop comes in, the while true loop. So while there is lettuce. This works like an if statement, except it repeats. It says as long as there's lettuce. So instead of if there's lettuce, do this and then keep going, this thing says as long as that is true, whoops, as long as there's lettuce, don't just pick it once, it then has to check again and again and again. And until it will say, is there lettuce? Yes, pick it. Hits the bottom, is there lettuce? If this is yes, it will pick it. And then it will keep asking that. The only time it stops and would run the code below this, which would re-loop around, is if there is no longer lettuce. So this is almost like an if statement, the wall there's lettuce, except it repeats until there's no more lettuce, until this is false. Whereas this statement runs just once, you ask if it's lettuce, and it does it, then we loop back through the whole thing. This one loops on an individual level until there's no more lettuce. Victory! Alright, so fields, clusters, what do we got? So it looks like they're randomizing on us. Okay. So let's do what we have been. And while there's path ed. Oh, wait. There's always a pumpkin at the end, it looks like. So as long as there's... Wait until I get to the pumpkin. So I'll repeat this stuff until I get to the pumpkin. Now, what do I want to do? I want to move forward. But when I'm moving forward, notice that there's a random amount of corn each time, right? So when I'm moving forward, I want to check if there's corn. And if so, to pick it. There's no if here, though, but remember, we have wall now. So while there's corn, this works like that if statement, like a conditional. It, it is a conditional. If there's corn, while there's corn, if this condition is true, and there's corn there, what do I want to do? I want to pick the corn, right? And then let's say that we're done. I'm just going to throw this is wrong, but let me step through this with you. So repeat until there's pumpkin. Not at a pumpkin, so I'm going to move forward. While there's corn, that is false. There's no corn, so I'll skip over pick corn. I'll turn right, and I'll try to repeat this. And now I'm going to keep going. Now, if there was corn, uh, apparently there's not going to be corn at the first try. All right. And if there was corn, I would continue to pick it. But it looks like there's not just corn, right? If I keep running this, there's also lettuce. So while there's corn, pick that corn. Once we're, we've checked for corn, we should also check for lettuce. What happens now? Well, I'll step. 
Until I map the pumpkin, run all of this code. First, I take one step forward. I check. Is there any corn? This is false. So notice pick corn never highlights. And I drop below. Is there any lettuce? That's also false. So we hit the bottom and repeat. Yep, we're not at the pumpkin, so I should move forward. I'm going to now do this. Okay. Is there any corn? Nope, that's false. So I don't pick the corn. Is there any lettuce? Yeah, that would be true. So you'll see pick lettuce highlight one, two, three times. And I'll go all the way to the end. And the last thing is I got to pick that pumpkin. So once I'm done with this, repeat until there are pumpkins. I must be at the pumpkin. There's always just one, so we need one pick pumpkin. Onward. All right, let's see. Can you figure out how to pick the pumpkins? Make sure to collect all of the corn along the way. All right, so it looks like, again, there's a pumpkin at the end. So again, I'm just going to keep going until I hit the pumpkin. What should I do? I'll move forward. Then what? Well, what else is there? Looks like there's a random amount of corn each time. Okay, so I'm going to keep moving forward. Every time I move forward, then I'm going to check if there's corn, right? And it's not just one piece of corn. So I'll use a loop, a while true loop or a while there is corn loop. And as long as there's corn, like we have been doing, I'm going to go ahead and pick it. Hit the bottom, go back. Now, this will get us through this one row. But we're going to hit the end here. So why don't I check after each loop, after each repeat here, if there's path ahead, if there's path to the left. Yeah, that would work, right? Because we need to go left, 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 and left. Yep. So if there's path to the left, I'm going to say, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If there's path to the left, there we are, turn left. Now I'll check for corn each time if there's path, and I'll pick it until there's no more left because this is a wall. If there's path to the left, and this is an if, so if that's true, I do turn left. If it's not, I just drop below. Well, we know we end at a pumpkin. It's the last thing on the map, so onward. Challenge, love them. All right, so challenge puzzles are lessons. Yep, let's go. Collect all the corn and lettuce. Okay, so we have one block. We need 10. Let me hit run to see what's going on here. Lots of corn, lots of lettuce. First, how are we going to get to the end? Is there always one pumpkin at the end? I bet I know how then. Let's ask the computer. To, ooh, and we're supposed to use this too. Repeat until there are pumpkins. So I'm going to ask the computer to keep going until I get to a pumpkin. That makes sense to me. Now, what do I want to do? Well, I need to go all the way down here, 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 here. It's different lengths each time. So, uh, how could I get to the end? Well, why don't I say as long as there's path ahead, right? Because this is a corner corner yep not path ahead oh right there could be interesting though but there's a cow in my way so that might count let's see so as long as there's path ahead i'm gonna say move forward right and when there's not what should we do i'm gonna say it looks like turn right there's not path ahead. i think i always have a right turn i can make let's just try this for starters and notice the little radar Okay, that at least gets us to the end, but now I need to pick stuff. It's corn and lettuce. So after each time, while there's path that I should move forward, but let's make sure we pick stuff. Is it always just one? Nope, no, it's five right there. So it's almost always just one. It's always one lettuce, it looks like. Interesting. Okay, so while there is corn, so every time I move forward, if there's corn, I want to pick it, right? And the reason I'm not going to use an if is because here there's four. Technically, you could use a if or a while for the lettuce because there's only one lettuce. And I'll show you what I mean. If there is lettuce, pick the lettuce. Since there's only one lettuce for each one, this would actually work. It's technically correct. If you want to keep with their form, you could have a while there is corn here. So and just to keep with their form, this works. This is correct. Coding, there's more than one way to do things. All right. But if you want to stay with their pink block theme here. We could also do that. So as long as this is true, I'll keep picking the corn or keep picking lettuce, hit the bottom, go back to the top. And then once it's all over, I think I want to pick the pumpkin. I want to walk through a line in this with you. Let me hit step. All right. Repeat till I'm at the pumpkin, not at a pumpkin. While there's path ahead. Yep, there's path ahead. What am I going to do then? Move forward. Now what? I'll check if there's corn. There is corn. So this is true. So while there's corn, true, this is true. So I do pick the corn. You'll see it highlight. Yep. Now I have to check again. I've picked the corn, there's no more, but I'm still going to ask the computer, hey, is there any corn there? There's not, so it's going to drop below and check for lettuce. Is there any corn there? Nope, that's false, so this won't highlight. Drop below, is there any lettuce? That's false, so I won't do the pick. I'll hit the bottom of this loop and go, Zoop. is there still path ahead of me? There is, so I'll move forward. Once there's no longer path and I'm here, that's when I turn right, and I'll repeat if I'm not at the pumpkin. Once I'm at the pumpkin, I should pick it. 
Awesome. Now this looks similar to the last one. I know I want to keep going till I get to the pumpkin. I'm going to want to move forward and well, wait, I have to turn right each time. So turn here, turn there. So I guess I'll, while there's path ahead, right? As long as there's path ahead, I'll keep moving forward. But if there's no longer path ahead, that's well, I'll turn. Looks like it's a right turn. And this is getting kind of standard. Now, if I'm going to do all of this stuff in here until I'm at the pumpkin, well, when I'm done with this, repeat till there's pumpkin, I would drop below it. Well, I would know I'd be at the pumpkin, so that's a great time to pick it. Now, what crops? Uh, lettuce or, let's see. Oh, it's mostly corn, but it's also lettuce. Is it always one corn? Yeah, it is always one corn. There's three lettuce, though. Okay, so you can do this a few ways. Do they give us ifs? I love when they do that. Okay, so I'm going to use an if. You could use a wall as well. But while there's path head, I can't use this on lettuce because there was more than one lettuce sometimes, three lettuce, but there's only one corn. So if there is corn, I can pick the corn. And since I already, always know it will be one, that would be fine. You could also use a wall. And then wall, there's lettuce. So after I check if there's corn and I pick it, I will check if there's lettuce. And if there is lettuce, I'll pick that. The wall loop here, this is going to keep going as long as there's lettuce. So I do pick it, hit the bottom. I'll check again if there's lettuce and I do pick it. I do pick it. Once this is false, there's no more lettuce. I'd go beneath it and I check if there's path ahead. This if only happens once, so I'll check if there's corn. If that's true, I pick one corn, and then I check for lettuce. It works because there's no more than one corn ever. You could have a wall there is corn, though, here, too. That would also work. Awesome. Onward. All right, let's see. Collect all of the corn. Oh, it's a stair pattern, so I know right away I'll have to go forward, right, and then right, and then forward, and then left. Because that's how stairs work. Let me just check that that's right. So what do I want to get to? This pumpkin. So I'm just going to keep doing that step until I get to the pumpkin to see if it works. Yep. So I'm going to keep repeating that to get down the stairs. Now let's worry about the food. Now. Okay. So what was there? There's both lettuce and corn. There looks to be always one corn, but I'm not certain. And there's more than one lettuce. So after each step, right, after I take, because it's always at the edge of the stair here, I'm going to check if there's corn and I'll check if there is lettuce and as long as there is corn what do i want to do so if i check for corn and the computer says true there's corn i'm going to want to pick it then while there is lettuce if i check for lettuce and the computer says yep there's lettuce i want to pick it then I, what these wall loops do is once there's corn if there's corn i'll pick the corn i hit the bottom and i have to check it again if there's corn so as long as there's corn i keep repeating this pick corn once this is false there's no more corn i check now the block below if there's lettuce if there is lettuce i'll keep picking it until this is false hit the bottom and go right back up here now there's also a pumpkin at the end and as we have been doing there's only one so at the very end i'll pick it this is getting easier as we go make sure to go back through these levels if that's not quite clicking yet because each one really reinforces this id idea it's how i can go so fast boom all right, let's see. Take a close look at the code below. What will happen when you click run? Now, remember, once you pick one of these and click, it submits to your teacher. If I'm your teacher, that's me. Well, we just saw this, right? I definitely will go down the stairs. The harvester will collect all of the crops. While there is corn, while there is lettuce. Wait a minute. I know not all the crops. There's no pumpkin. The harvester will not pick any crop with the path she is taking. Forward, left turn, which is down forward right turn if there's corn if there's lettuce no if there's corn or lettuce and this has been corn or lettuce so no they'll pick crops but wait a minute the harvest tool except the pumpkin yeah there's no pick pumpkin so we could just go back and look at the last puzzle we just did quapow tricky tricky again make sure to go back through these tutorials if you're stuck on any part of it you really want to understand this stuff to make your life easier in the future let's keep going